Hey everybody, Carl here. Welcome back to Trails in the Sky, second chapter. We're in the previous episode. We had an epic battle up on deck against Gilbert and his goons, Orf. And with Joshua at our side, who came out of nowhere but has been built up to, we can finally continue on. So let's go back to Carl from the past. We're in the stern right now. We're missing like four chests and they can all be gotten here. So, let's quickly heal up, because it still took a beating in that battle, but we got through. And we're onward. So, same procedure. Big things in the way. We gotta go around. So, let's start by heading up the stairs right here, and just worm our way around the uh, defensive mechanism. So there's one there, so let's try poking our head in over here. And then on this side, treasure. Star rabbits. We're hoping somebody would come along and put in more stuff for you to take. Star rabbits are female shoes, right? Estelle should already have her... her pair. So, that's all good. Speaking of, Joshua, let me, let me look at you. Level 75. Dude, this guy. This guy right here. Alright, Joshua, I'm gonna give you some stuff, so if you run away, I'm gonna be very upset with you, so, uh, don't. Alright, let's give him something cool here. Something that could really... Ooh, we got that buzzer for that ADS. Okay. Something good. Uh, glove gear seems good for you. Uh, I don't have any, uh, gladiator things, because I think I gave, that, I gave that to someone. At a time, it seemed a good, uh, good idea. Uh, so I don't know, I'll take a silver chain. Get that bling bling. So, that's great. That leaves us with three chests to get. Also escaping the ship. But honestly, surviving and escaping the ship is secondary to me. Completion comes first. Bum, 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 bum. I'm so glad he's back. I knew he would join the party again at some point, but I wasn't quite sure of the circumstances. Dun, 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 dun. Let's stop by here. Get this one. That That is a giant mech. Oh, boy. Okay. I didn't even hit Joshua. We got some crits coming up, Joshua. Uh, can we do something fun here? Abyssfall. Of course you can do something like that. We could do, uh, we could do some fun stuff here. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. If I could take one of the crits here. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try something. If I do a simple heal on a crit turn, uh, could I... Actually, I don't know what I was planning. Uh, my, th 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 my thinking was off. That's fine. That's fine. Let's let's beat these guys up. Death Scream, let's go. At least I steal one of the crits from them. That's one thing. I was hoping that then on the next crit I could chain with Estelle, but that's not gonna... It's not gonna work out that way. Alright, they're coming in. These guys are coming in. Everybody gather up. Oh, okay. Let's go! Want to show you something new I've learned. Want to talk about darkness, Joshua? Everybody survives. Okay. Okay. We got we got that good stuff. We don't have any AoE. That's not really his thing. Uh, I mean, we have Evil Eye. That, that is an AoE, so what I'm saying is just not true in the slightest. Alright. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Yeah. We just we just beat them. They're, they're not tough. We don't even need to think. Look at that. They can't can't even hit me. Weak and pathetic. Let's show Joshua what we got. Bam bam. These robots will be pretty weak, so that should take care of those. Bam bam bam. Now back over to Joshua. Now we can do stuff like the true dual strike. Well, you're not putting your abilities in a good light. Let me show you how it's done. Brother! Bam! Bam 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 I should probably stop calling him brother though. You know, it's just at what point do I stop calling him brother? Uh-oh! That's fine. That's good. Nice! Like no experience for Joshua. He has like 10,000 more experience than me. Seven rings cane! Wear good shoes and you'll never see defeat. That's Still mildly humorous. Gonna give that to you so you can hit people in the head even harder. All right, let's see if we can't now make our way up to the next floor of the stern. Okay, so we're just—I'm just kind of. 
I hope I haven't gone back. Yeah, this seems right. This seems right. Wait, I'm going down. Okay, yeah, because I was on the second floor. Now I'm on the first floor. Uh, is this... Hold on, is... Am I... Okay, because we came from the deck. Now we're going to go to... Okay, so this is the first floor of the stern. No, this is the second floor of the stern. And now we're going to the... Okay, okay, we're, we're going... Okay, we're on the right track, I think. Uh... Bum, 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 bum. So over here we have some big, giant, giant, big doors. Uh, this gate is shut. Okay. Interesting. We're just going to continue on the main path here. Get out of here. Perfect. Two more chests to get both in this room. Let's get to navigating. Uh, around you. We probably... How far can we go? Well, we can actually go pretty far all the way down there. In which case, um, we're gonna need to check out. So that's gonna be blocked over there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But, so we came in from here. Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me cook. I am, I'm looking at, like, a map that looks like this. And it's not that complex, but it's still enough. That it hurts my brain. In here? Yes, okay, we just needed to go one more further to the left. Proxy puppets. You don't understand how hard it is to come up with 500 unique treasure chest phrases that are brimming with sarcasm. Bum, 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 bum. Actually, like an emergency puppet on Estelle would have been pretty clutch in that battle in case she got knocked down. But Greylock is pretty good too. So it probably would have been Greylock at an emergency puppet. But, bum, bum, bum. Let's see if we can't get to the very other side now. Bridge, right here. Well, that's just roots. Okay, we got another bridge we could try, but is that the one which is blockaded? No, this one's good. Okay, okay. Okay. On the other side, if we go here, uh, is this another bridge section? Okay. So if I go one more back, like this, and then we go here. Yes, we did it! All of the Sepith gotten. All of the chests on this ship gotten. Say, have we met before? Nah, no. No, sir. Never in my life have I encountered such a fine chest. I would remember. Okay. And we're going down. And I think with that, just gonna adjust in case. Don't want another bad situation on the ship with the chests. Here, let's go. Old chest gotten. Josh was with us. Let's escape this freaking place. All right. Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum bum 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 bum. Pretty big. Give him, like, Death Star vibes. Holy! Since when does an airship have its own landing port? Yes, the Crimson Ark, the glorious, pride of the society, is meant to be a mothership of sorts. It can provide birthing for up to 12 smaller vessels. That's unbelievable. I secured a ship earlier for our escape. It's in the hangar farthest in. Got it. Let's get out of here. I'm just glad to be with my boy. I can yell at him later on. For now, just gotta get out of here. Young voice. He he he. Uh, this could be Campanella or it could be Ren. Ren would be more impactful here, story-wise, so I'm just... Well, why would she be here? I don't know. We're just gonna... <laughs> You're a bit late, aren't you? I was Campanella. Alright, it works. You! Campanella. Joshua, how cold! You have that nice, long, heart-to-heart -heart with love, and you didn't even stop by to say hello to your old friend Campanella? I didn't think you were still on the ship. Let me guess. You knew I was coming this way. 
<laughs> well, I am the one the Grandmaster sent to observe the plan. It's my job to notice more than the others do, after all. <laughs> it's impressive, though. You've changed quite a bit in the, uh, what, half decade since last we met? You've become much more of a man, hmm? And you literally haven't changed at all. Even your appearance is exactly the same. So you haven't aged today. Ha ha ha. Well, I'll make sure to never skip my daily skincare after all. I've heard you enjoy a good romp and a dress every now and then. Perhaps I could introduce you to some cosmetics. Oh. Arr, could you be any more aggravating? You were waiting here for us because you wanted to fight, right? Just fight us already! <laughs> oh my goodness, what a strong little girl. I'd wondered what kind of girl could pluck your heart like a grape, Joshua. She's a good match for you, huh? W w wait, who plucked whose heart like... Ah, uh, I forget myself, though. Your proper girlfriend is that bandit girl, isn't it? Oh, Joshua, you're such a stud. Uh, uh, uh. That's quite enough of your nonsense. I have no idea how you even know about Joseph. But either way, our abilities in combat should be about the same. And I doubt Estelle would just sit idly by. Do you still intend to stop us with force? <laughs> no, no, that was my intent at all. As I said, I'm simply here to observe the plan unfolds. I have no duty to impede you two directly. <sighs> Wait, really? And why bother waiting for us here? <laughs> you say my farewells, of course. But, you know, just saying goodbye isn't very exciting at all. So I thought I'd help make your escape story a bit more riveting. What we got now? What? The pale Apache flying orbital puppet? The society already has working models? And so a new obstacle arises to block the reunited heroes. How will this affect their legends? Let's find out! Well, this legend of heroes ain't over yet! Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -da. All right, Estelle, we got a big, big pale Apache, 14,000 health, and Archaism made by the 13 factories, loaded with weaponry, will self-destruct. Okay, let's see if we got almost no CP here. That's okay, Estelle's gonna take care of the boys around. Joshua just has to go all in on the main, the main villain here. Let's go. Bam, bam. Oh boy, strong tanky boy. But uh, we're gonna death scream. All right, not too, not too shabby. A little flamethrower. Just don't impede me, and we'll be okay. Uh oh, he's crafting. I don't think Joshua has any impede, does he? So unless the cell gets a turn now, but I don't think so. Yeah, she does. Okay, good. Let's see what this does. Oh, it's so close! It gets... It's it's up to a random chance if it gets one of them. Alright. Joshua. Oh, boy. How do we want to deal with this? I think... Just to just go attacking. Just like that. And then Estelle is gonna do a good hard... Break! <laughs> that did nothing! Oh boy, now we're now we're vulnerable. That was a lot of damage and a death down. Okay. Got another crit coming up. Can I take advantage of it in any way? I could with a heal on myself. I'm gonna heal myself. Oof. Nice. Alright. We can take care of them easy enough. I don't I'm not too worried about the small guys, but they're chipping away at me, and Estelle is getting very hurt. Okay, he's moving. Estelle. Ah. Uh, Ah, she's so low. I need to heal her. Joshua can heal her. She's gonna do the true hurricane! <laughs> and destroy everything in her path. Okay. That leads us with just him. Joshua, if you wouldn't mind, I should have some good stuff right here. 
like a hundred victory steak. Let's go, it's that time. Eat that steak. Yeah, strength up. Cold allies. Oh, you. That's okay. Flicker. I can still flicker you. Hopefully he's not immune. It helps the hips. Oh boy, I haven't checked his uh, quartz setup. That might be a... Or did I? I don't know if I did. That might be a... Disturb. Clock down. Why haven't I clocked down yet? Oh boy, I'm just gonna clock him down. There we go. His speed is lowered. He's just flying about. That's not very threatening. I'm gonna run away and bash this guy on a crit turn. Okay. Joshua. We just... Gotta get to work. Dun, 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 dun. He has a lot of health, so we just gotta... Just work, work it slowly but surely. Get him down. Um, clock up on Joshua right here. Whoa, he's moving over. Joshua can move in and dish out some damage. Oh boy, I'm gonna clock up on myself too, just because I can here. Just make this really unfair for him. Yeah. Now we should. Now the action economy is in our favor here. And... That's a miss. He's a little hard to hit. Oh boy. Yeah. Just repeated melee attacks, I think. We could do like some chaining up and some stuff, but I want to see if maybe there's a crit coming around. Oh, he doesn't get to act at all. This is good. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Calling allies. We deal with the allies. I've already called my ally. Joshua. Bam. Uh... Oh, I think this calls for a little runaway. Uh, you too, Estelle. It's a little step back right there. Good. And then we can hit him from the sides. Yes. All right. Break cannon. Go. All right. Josh was about to get enough for his S-craft. Oh, if only he would hit. Joshua. I want to morale him. Bam, 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 bam. I'm gonna run over here. Critical mode? <gasps> Strength and ADF up. That's okay. I'm not using arts either way, dude. Bam. Very good. Okay, so... Ooh, on a crit with a strength up from Estelle. We can unleash some uh, Joshua goodness here. We're gonna do a morale. Come on. Oh, that's close. Almost hit me. And then you... Because we have something called True Sever. Our uh, True Sever is, should be better than Black Fang in this case. Let's see if a crit turn is going to land naturally for us. Okay. Very good. Oh, it might. This might. This might work out so well. Okay. <gasps> it's perfect. It's perfect. The critical lands here. I don't know if Black... I think Black Fang might be on S break. I don't know. I haven't checked. So we're just going to do... True Sever. He's back. Our boy. Swinging those blades. Oh, that's some damage. Nah, 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 nah. This ends here. Taking him down. Bah. I don't fear no machines. I got the power of love on my side. Uh-oh. Boom, 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 boom. Oh! He did self-destruct big time. Uh-oh. Alert mode initiated. Oh, he's preparing to use arts. Oh, no. Don't heal yourself. That's so annoying. No. I mean, it's kind of annoying, actually. But you guys are um, about to have a bad day. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, okay, I should quickly take care of uh, my boy here. I'm going to tear all on you, actually. Woof. 5,000 HP heal. Oh, boy. Dark matter. That might hurt a little. On a crit. Oof. Okay. That's, that's fine. Let's go get him. Bam. Yes. And now you, mister. Finish the job, Joshua. We're not done yet. That's a big fat level up for you. Level 68. Nice, nice. Very good. 
Well done, well done. I expected no less of Joshua, but the miss is really very good as well. You, you, enough of your stupid messing around. Now, now, there's no need to be so angry. Anyway, it's time for the fool whose act is done to exit stage right. What? <laughs> well then, you two. Let's meet again soon. He's gone. That's just a little escape trick, he knows. Don't worry about it. More importantly. Hey, you sure they came this way? Didn't you hear the sounds, idiot? No doubt about it. Estelle, we have to hurry. Right. We're getting out of here in style. Ah, Joshua, take me on your ship. So romantic. Lock the door. I'll get the ship launched immediately. G got it! Activation key recognized. Confirmation code entered. And we can go. What? Uh? I'm opening the hatch via remote control. We'll be launching immediately, so take a seat. Okay. It's them! Fire! Don't let them escape! I always give the bad guys such goofy voices. That's okay, they're just they're just goons. Oh, and we dropped. It's fine. We'll correct shortly. There we go. We got out of there alive. All chests. Beat Gilbert. Urgh. They think they could just fly away? Hell with that. Sortie the airships. We're going after them. Oh, they are. Oh, boy. Whoa, this is a radar, isn't it? There's um, three lights getting closer, I think. <clears throat> Pursuers. I'll need to evade them somehow. Uh, Joshua, you know how to fly an airship? The basics, at least. This ship doesn't have any armaments, however. This isn't the best situation for us to be in. Oh, great. Wait, why did you go for a ship with no weapons? This ship was undergoing maintenance, so the security was lighter. It was an emergency, so I didn't have time to be picky. An emergency? Um, you don't mean... You don't mean the fact that I was caught on the Glorious? Uh, enough. We're gonna be flying rough, so hang on to something. Wah! Oh boy. Here they come. guys chasing us seem pretty good. The pilots have been put through one of the society's piloting focused enhancement programs most likely. They won't be very good at adapting to the unusual. For a more common task like chasing down the ship, they're very good. I get it. I like those guys from earlier. If 
they're bad at adapting, though. Maybe we can cause some kind of accident. Yeah, were we hit? No, wait, that wasn't our ship. Ah, uh, let me guess. Gonna get some, yeah, backup from the Bobcats. Coming in clutch. That's... no way! The Bobcat... but why? Joshua! Joshua, you're on that ship, right? That voice... THAT voice! Yes, it's me. What are you guys doing here? I thought you'd be out of LeBro by now. <laughs> My brothers got all worried that you might run into a problem. So I've been shadowing that flying whale for a while. <gasps> really? Who's the one begging us to follow Joshua looking all worked up and ready to faint? Kyle! Enough, you two. And besides, we have a little payback to give the society ourselves. We thought we could stick around here until we settle our other debt. I see. Thank you. You saved me. <laughs> yeah, you better be grateful. We've had an eye on you for a while and noticed you weren't firing back. Got a problem? I have to take a ship with no armaments. It's proven to be a bit of an issue. I can imagine. What do we do then? Right then, we'll split them in two. You could probably lose one, right? One? No problem. It's a plan then. Blessings of Adios be with you. Joshua, take care, you hear me? Estelle, is anything on the radar? Nope. All the lights are out, it looks like. Seems like we completely lost them. Good. Uh. Um. Uh, um. I gotta say, I was surprised by the bandits. They're kind of okay. I never thought they'd show up out of the blue to save us like that. Maybe I'm being a bit too hard on them. It's true. I just saw us as two parties bound to a contract. But I suppose relationships between people aren't that simple. <laughs> What's this all of a sudden? Put two people together and maybe they'll fight, maybe they'll be friends. All kinds of stuff can happen. That's just how people act, you know? Yes. How people act was never very clear in the world I lived in. Oh! Kill, or be killed. Take, or be taken from. Until I met you, my life was an endless cycle of such... simplicity. But, um... Even you had some good times with Love and your sister, right? Love told you about that, did he? Uh, it's true I have those memories, but they feel like someone else's. What? After my heart was shattered, my memories of Hamel were no longer my own. I think it's because I gave up being human and chose to become a puppet. Uh, I do clearly remember my sister's death. She and I were attacked by a man lying in wait for stragglers. The man swatted me away and forced my sister to the ground. Oh! At the time, I was too young to know what he probably meant to do. All I knew is that he was hurting my sister. I had a bad feeling. 
and I grabbed onto the man's back. I ended up getting crushed and thrown off immediately. Somehow, though, I'd managed to get my hands on the man's gun. Uh, thinking about it, I wonder, did I have a talent for killing people even then? I'd never even been taught how, I still removed the safety and pulled the trigger with no hesitation. The man fell over, spewing blood from his mouth, looking confused. At that moment, I finally realized I'd shot a man. Uh, he wasn't quite dead yet, though. He jumped up, combat knife out, screaming and gurgling incoherently with murder in his eyes. I curled up and closed my eyes like I was being attacked by a wild animal. But there was no impact. I was embraced by something soft. Uh, when I opened my eyes, there was my sister gently smiling at me. The man had collapsed at some point, and Love was standing there, dumbstruck with horror. My sister, cradled by Love, gave me her harmonica. And then she closed her eyes. <laughs> I remember every detail, you see. But even talking about it like this doesn't make me feel sad. It's just a slight tugging at the heart, like reading a stranger's diary. And the same is true of my time with you. N no. I do think I was changed a little by touching your warmth. I learned happiness and joy with you, and finally came to think of you as someone dear. But somewhere it all felt as if it was distant. I suspect that's what my real self was feeling. The empty void of... Of the broken puppet that is Joshua Stray. This is goodbye, Estelle. Please do not chase after me anymore. Uh, I was a little happy to see you one last time, but... Even so, we should not be together. Being with someone like me will never be good for you. And to be frank, you will only be a burden to me. So... You're a terrible liar, you know that? What? Joshua, listen. I've seen and heard a lot since you left. And now, now I think I understand. I understand the reason you left. The real reason. The one you haven't even admitted to yourself. You can't bear to be with me because your heart's broken? You feel like being with me is someone else's story that you can never, ever have? <laughs> Come on, I'll be a bad influence on you. Or you'll hold me back. <laughs> what? That's all a bunch of lies. Every single one. Especially that last one. They aren't lies. No, Joshua. Really. Listen. I understand now. You're really, really scared. What? You think it's your fault that your sister died? And you'd never, ever forgive yourself if something happened to me? That's why you ran away from me that night. Everything else was just pinned on afterwards. Uh, that, that's ridiculous. Wise man's conditioning left me incapable of feeling fear. He took away my ability to feel it, so that I wouldn't hesitate during an operation. 
You're a little off target, I'm afraid. No, darn it. I'm not talking about something that superficial. Joshua, you said you can't help but feel like your sister's death happened to someone else, right? Do you know why that is? Of course. It's because I'm a broken wreck of a human being. Nah, uh No, no. Wrong go. We aren't letting self-pity get in the way here. Joshua, you... You just don't want to remember how awful it was when your sister died. How you blame yourself for it. Unconsciously, you've been trying to think of it as someone else's problem. To get away from it. A lot of people do that. Uh, I... And on that ship? Don't tell me you weren't afraid there. I mean, it was a lot of work just to sneak on board, right? You didn't even hesitate to help me escape. It's almost as if you were trying to get me away from danger as fast as you possibly could. Danger you were afraid of. Uh, you aren't a broken wreck, Joshua. You're just scared. Mostly because you care for people so much it breaks your heart. And you're lying to yourself about it. That's how I see it. And I know I'm right. But I... That can't... Uh, uh. Why... Can you... Have you forgotten, Buster? I'm LeBurl's number one Joshua Watcher. Now that I know all about your past, too, I'm the biggest authority on Joshua Stray in the world. I know more than Weissman or Loeb, even. Uh, Joshua scared and Joshua brave. Joshua lying and Joshua honest. My beloved Joshua. I finally found you, Joshua. I finally reached you. Stop. But I... I need to say this. I don't want to just be one more person you feel like you have to protect. As long as I'm a bracer, I can't stay away from danger. That's not gonna change, even if you leave again, Joshua. It's what I have to do to be who I am. Uh. And so... And so, Joshua, let's make a promise. Let's go forward together from now on and protect each other equally. I'm strong enough to be able to cover your back now, Joshua. And if you're at my side, there's nothing I can't beat. No matter what kind of crazy nonsense the society throws at me, I won't die. So, so you don't need to be afraid for me anymore. I promise. Del. I... Why? How? I... Haven't been able to cry since... Since Karen died. I could never even... Shed tears as an act. But now... Uh, it's okay. No one's looking. Cry as long as you want. And I'll just hold you like this. <laughs> oh, top five scenes. Top five scenes of Trails in the Sky. Oh, again. Estelle has just grown so much and figured out Joshua more than he knew himself. <laughs> that was, um, a little embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, right. Here, let me return this. Oh. Seriously, Joshua. This is your only memento of Karen, right? You shouldn't just fob this off on others without thinking, buddy. Yes. It was 
was a bit thoughtless of me, wasn't it? I was kind of wondering, what kind of person was she? What kind of person? Hmm. She was friendly to everyone she met, kind almost to a fault, and she had dignity born of humility. She and Love, the Love of back then, were perfect together. I was always a little jealous of them as a child. Friendly, kind, and dignified? She was kind of like Chloe then. <laughs> it's a good comparison, thinking about it. Karen didn't look like Chloe. She had my eyes and hair. But they were similar in spirit. Ah. Uh, Estelle? Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, speaking of Chloe, you realize you worried her and everyone else sick too, and not just me, right? You have some serious groveling to do when we get back. Estelle, I do... If you say something like, Oh, I don't have the right to go back. I'm just gonna drag you back by your hair, okay? Sure, you're a wise man's spy, but you didn't even know it, right? Even helping the bandits get their shit back was done to try and stop the society, right? If you tell dad about the society's plans, that'll make it even. That's what they call a plea bargain, right? That's... Not quite how a plea bargain works. Besides, even if you want to stop the society, you can't get back on that ship, can you? In that case, your only option is to work with us, Buster. And if you hadn't been abducted, I could have destroyed the Glorious as I originally planned. Ugh. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, wait, hold on. How can you say destroy the Glorious so easily? I know it's the society we're talking about. Were you really going to kill them all? It'll take nothing less to stop Weissman and Loaf. And even then, there's a decent chance that they'd survive the destruction of the Glorious. For the love of... No, actually, I think it's for the best I got caught. You were gonna do something completely crazy, Joshua. <laughs> mm, you're all... Huh, Estelle's being all cute and naive again, aren't you? No, not at all. It's just that... You matured a lot as a person while we, we've been apart. But ultimately, you're still Estelle. That makes me happier than I thought possible. Oh, um... C come on, Estelle. Why the heck does Joshua's smile still make my heart race? Oh, it's because it's been a while, isn't it? Oh, it still gets me. Right there. Uh, um, Estelle? Uh, hey. Got along pretty well with that tomboy, right? Tomboy? Oh, you mean Josette. Well, at first we had our... differences. Even so, we came to understand each other pretty well by the end, I'd say. Understand each... Uh, did you kiss her? What? Question. Answer. Give. R right. Of course I didn't. Our relationship wasn't like that. Oh, um, good. Well, um, then... Can I... request a do-over of that night? A do-over? Oh. The, the first kiss is really important to a girl, you know? And it was all your fault that mine got wasted. So you've... you've got to take responsibility, mister. Estelle. Mm. Estelle, I... I suppose I do. <laughs> mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Josette? Hey! Joshua! Alright. Coming to spoil the special moment, Josette. 
All right, you're you're a uh, you're not first in line for his best girl. Tell you that. The tomboy. What? Oh heck! You got away too, huh? <sighs> I was hoping you'd stay caught. Gee, maybe I should have thrown you at them as a distraction. But I don't think they'd like grimy tomboys. Come on, Josette. Don't start a fight. You won't object to a brief truce, I hope, Miss Bracer. Yeah, well, you guys did save us back there, after all. So, thank you, really. We wouldn't have made it without you. Ha ha ha. There's no need to thank us. Tch, I don't remember saving you. So just keep your thanks to yourself, okay? Grr. Okay, one of you is getting dragged off to prison after all, it looks like. That aside, astray, what are your plans now? Huh? We came to ask again if you wanted to come with us, but... I think it looks like we don't even need to ask, huh? Yes, forgive me. I'm not really certain how things will go from here. Right now, though, I'll be traveling with Estelle. Joshua! Uh, I see. Ah, uh, uh, whatever. At least there's still a chance. What? Joshua, remember! You get tired of Miss Airhead over there. Just come on back to us. You'll always have a place on the Bobcat, okay? Walk over here and call me Airhead one more time, you greasy tomboy! <laughs> Thank you, Josette. Don, Kyle, I owe you all so much. Ah, that's our line. Good luck and stay safe. Hopefully we'll meet again someday. Ah. I've grown to really like the Kapuas. I'm glad they were more than just like a one chapter baddie. And off they go. And Josh was here to stay. Oh. It makes me so happy. Estelle. What is it? You do understand that the enemies we've made are overwhelmingly powerful. You were captured primarily as bait to lure me out, I suspect. That way, the Glorious wouldn't be destroyed in Wise Men's absence. Oh! And to be honest, Loaf probably could have saved the ship after kicking our bodies into the sea. I'm fairly sure the reason he didn't was out of pity. Pity at how weak I was, I mean. Uh, all of the Enforcers are the same. In terms of pure power, they are all masters, far stronger than me, even Ren. We have picked what will probably be the hardest fight of our lives. Yeah. But I do promise. I promise I won't ever run from reality again. I will walk with you until the very end. Joshua, I promise to, to the very end. Oh, oh, dude, this chapter, so good. I played through the entirety of it today. I was just having so much fun. That's the whereabout of Bonds. We found him. It was Joshua all along. Let's see, when did we do chapter five ends? Yeah, started today at 11 and now it's, oh, it's about to be 11 again. Wow. What a chapter. That was a lot of fun. Uh, it was primarily just starting in Bose and then the laboratory and the glorious, but just the, the, oh, the juice, the plot. We're getting to the good stuff. We're racing ahead. We have two more chapters and a finale ahead of us. And our boy's back. Our boy's back. So make sure you tune in next time when we begin chapter 7. And things just keep escalating from here. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Carl. And this has been Trails to Completion.